Steel County Blades defenseman Jordan Jackson. Jordan, where are you from? Auburn, New York. Auburn, New York. Take me through a little bit of your hockey history, how you got started playing hockey, what kind of teams you played on. Uh, yeah, I started um, about two years old. Mm -hmm. I My dad wanted to get me into it early, so I, so I definitely strapped on the skates really young and he kind of just let me wall around and fell a bunch of times, but after a while I kind of got the hang of it. And then just kind of started in mites a little bit earlier than usual kids. Played uh, four years of that and then just kind of worked my way up to high school and then moved out here and kind of made it to the blades. Yeah. Okay, so two years old. Now, I, here in Minnesota, I know kids start pretty young, and you got, you got a lot of Minnesota guys on this team, but two years old, you, you must have started playing hockey even before some of these Minnesota guys, right? Yeah, a few of them, I suppose, okay. but there's probably a few on the team that probably started a little bit before me. I would be, wouldn't be surprised around here. Okay, but that's pretty cool. Now, Auburn, New York, is, was hockey big there, or was it unusual to get involved in that sport? Uh, we definitely got a lot of crowds for our games, but wasn't the biggest of hockey for our like situ for our um, city. We're a very small city, kind of actually smaller than Owatonna. Okay. okay. So it was very unlikely for a lot of us to be branched out and just played high school, and that was usually it for us. And it was high school hockey. High school. I mean, high school hockey. So similar to Minnesota, where where t where high schools had their own teams as opposed to some sort of uh, uh, all star teams for the cities. Yep, just like okay. something like that. We have okay. like we have sections and everything like that. So we'll play against other other d different teams around there okay. so what, what are some high, uh, high school hockey highlights for you um probably just my first goal and then um probably our biggest rivalry was a town called skinny atlas we were very very close to each other mm -hmm. about a 10 minute drive so once there was a game going on we had um different schools from around us always wanting to watch that game it was a very heated game close games over times and wow you know always always a treat to have the rivalry game going on all right well yeah rivalries are certainly fun is there any rivalry developing right now for the blades is there a team that you guys and, and it, hard to compare that to cities that have years and years and yeah. years of of of, uh, of a rivalry developing but do you have a favorite rival to play right now uh, I'd probably say Bling because we usually play them a lot and okay. they like to be some hotheads so they always give us a challenge here and there so usually when we play Bling you know it's one of those kind of dates where you're kind of looking to see what you can do for you know the team and everything like that and it's a good good game to like develop our systems and everything like that. Now high school hockey wrapping up and it was Auburn New York you yep. said right okay uh, so after high school hockey uh, uh, did you come here to the Blades or what was your path after high school hockey? Actually, uh, a path after high school hockey was probably just to go to college, and um, I got a call from my dad telling me that we were going to move to Minnesota for a job transfer. Oh. So, wasn't really, I was very surprised about that, and we uh, moved out here and kind of had nothing to do around here. It was kind of like, didn't really, I was living in a hotel for a few months until my dad got his job on everything, uh -huh. and then found about the Blades and came to a home game, and saw if I could get a tryout with them, and I did, and I loved it. Okay. Definitely. Now, did you finish high school uh, in New York, graduated then from your from your high school? Yep, class okay. of 2015. All right, very good. And then, so last season played with the Steel County Blades a bit. How, does, how would you compare this kind of hockey to what you saw in high school hockey, or what was the adjustment like for you to play junior hockey? How did you... How did you get up to speed? Uh, it's a much faster game. You got to definitely, ha definitely have like speed in this kind of uh, situation for juniors, and you got to definitely be stronger. And you have um, guys that are definitely more talented with the puck. You know, you got to make moves quicker. You know, you got to get your head up faster, and you got to know where you want to get the puck before you even get it sometimes, because then you're not going to be able to make the play for it. When you bring a bunch of guys together, different towns, different systems, as opposed to growing up in your high school, how hard is it to adjust to learning what your teammates are going to do and work together as a unit? How do you how do you get that conquered? Just in practice, you know, talking a lot, you know, just making sure that you guys are staying on the same page. So when it comes game time, you know, you always have a set plan. And you're not worried about what if he tries this again or if he tries something else. You just get all those kinks out in practice usually. How would you uh, assess how the season is going so far for the Blades? Um, pretty good, I would say. You know, I mean, you know, had a bad weekend, but, you know, that's always a good thing to come back and jump for. We got uh, the Renegades coming up, so a team we haven't played yet, but, you know, we've definitely come out hot this season, I think. Best start uh, franchise history mm -hmm. I know, and then, mm -hmm. you know, we've been just kind of rolling it right now, and we're not going to let 
two losses over the weekend let us stop us right now. We're definitely going to be back on our roll soon. Jordan, what's your long-term goal or, or hope with regard to hockey or education? Uh, long-term, I want to at least uh, play hockey throughout college and uh, get a physical therapy degree around there. And then um, probably maybe try to go branch out pro around if I could. But if I can't, then I at least have the degree in my back pocket to use. Okay. And then uh, any uh, sort of winter hobbies or anything in Auburn, New York that you enjoyed growing up and how they, uh, anything like that here in Minnesota that you tried to do uh, when there isn't hockey going on? Uh, we usually just kind of just hung out and everything okay. like that. We um, okay. definitely had a few different places we could hang out with and everything like that. I mean, usually I just stayed on the pond because we usually had a lake that freeze over, so I always okay. tried staying on there. Right. And did you, have you done any of that in Minnesota, any any pond hockey or skating a little bit outdoors, you and some of the other uh, teammates? Yep, last year we actually had a few guys go do that. We had a okay. lot of us do that, do that last year, and it was pretty fun. Okay, definitely good. a good team routery thing outside of the out of practice. All right, Jordan Jackson, one of the Steel County Blades. Jordan, appreciate the time. Good luck on the season. Thank you.